Good morning. It's Maria from the Wood County District Public Library. I'm here to share some stories with you this morning. We are going to share Chicken Little. And the good news is this book is now available for you to come to the Wood County District Public Library, the BG branch or the Wallbridge branch and pick up a copy at our curbside service um, cart. So please come and get a copy for yourself for of, of Chicken Little. This book, along with the other books that were given to us um, by the Friends of the Library this summer, have been distributed through our summer reading program. Imagine your story. There's still a little bit of time to keep reading this summer. We are going to be drawing raffle prizes, though, for the summer reading program on August 3rd at 1 o'clock here, Facebook Live as well. So um, please tune in and um, go to our website, too, to get more information, wcdpl.org. So let's get started with the song. Hello, everyone. How are you today? We're glad that you've come to listen, sing, and play. Thanks so much for joining me for story time. I want to read Chicken Little. This book is our last story to give away, and this is our last live story time this, this summer. And this story was written by Mara Alpern and illustrated by Nick East, published by Scholastic. So oh, let's see. Chicken Little. You might know this story a little bit already about the chicken that had the acorn that dropped on its head. Hmm, the sky is falling. Uh oh. Chicken Little. There's Chicken Little. There's Chicken Little. One sunny, on a sunny farm, there lived a fuzzy yellow chick named Chicken Little. He was happy and hoppy, but he wasn't the brightest chicken in the coop. Hey, where's my hat? I can't find it anywhere. Where's my hat? Hey, Chicken Little's wearing her hat, silly chicken. Hey, where's my hat? I have a hat. Where's my hat? There's my hat. Here's my hat. I have to wear my hat for story time. There's my hat. Here we are. Here we are, so silly. One autumn, one warm autumn day, Chicken Little was hop skipping through the woods when suddenly, uh oh, an acorn dropped from a tree and bounced off his head or off her head. <gasps> click, clack, clunk. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, my feathers! That was a piece of the sky! She squeaked. Help! Oh, help! Trembling, Chicken Little scurried back to the hen house, squawking, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! What's all this noise? clucked Henny Penny. The sky is falling! panted Chicken Little. It went click, clack, clunk! Right on my head! Penny Penny dropped her glasses. Goodness, she gasped. We must tell the king. He'll know what to do. The sky is falling. So Chicken Little and Henny Penny ran over to the duck pond, squawking and clucking. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must find the king. Did I hear the sky is falling? Quacked Ducky Lucky. Yes, it fell on my head. Click, clack. Clunk, said Chicken Little. What will we do? Said, cried Ducky Lucky. The king will save us, Henny Penny clucked. We must find him at once. So Chicken Little, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky dashed off again, squawking and clucking and quacking. The sky is falling. We must find the king. The sky is falling, gobbled Turkey Lurkey. Quick, take cover and he leaped into the bushes to hide. There's no time to lose, cried Chicken Little. We must hurry to town to find the king. So Chicken Little, Penny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey charged down the path, shouting, the sky is falling, we must find the king. But wasn't the king they saw. It was 
was Foxy Loxy. That's what seems to be the matter, my fine feathered friends, grinned Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling, puffed Chicken Little. We, we must tell the king. Foxy Loxy licked his lips. Poor little birds, he smirked. Come with me. I'll help you find the king. So Foxy Loxy led the search for the king. The animals started in the bookstore. The king's not here, said Foxy Loxy, peeking into a recipe book. And I don't see him here. How frightful, Foxy Loxy muttered. Now I remember where the king is, Foxy Loxy said with a sly smile. I invited him to my den for dinner. So, let's say you join our feast. Don't worry, my tasty little friends. It's not much further to my den, clucked, clucked Foxy Loxy, starting to drool. Foxy Loxy opened the door to the opened the door and the birds waddled slowly inside. Hmm. It was cold and dark in Foxy Loxy's den. I, I don't see the king, muttered Henny Penny. Maybe he's running late. I can't see anything at all, said Chicken Little. Then Foxy Loxy lit the chandelier. It's almost time for dinner, he purred. What's for dinner? asked Ducky Lucky. Oh, you! cried Foxy Loxy, and he leaped at the birds. <gasps> help! they all cried. Help! 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 And they squawked and they screeched and they fluttered and they flapped until the entire den shook. The chandelier fell onto Foxy Loxy's head. Click, clack, clunk. Yikes! screeched Foxy Loxy. The sky really is falling. And he dashed away as fast as he could straight into the king. Greetings, crowed the king. What's this I hear about the sky falling? The entire town is in a flutter. But look, dear friends, the great blue sky is still up there. The little gazed up, and he saw that the king was right. So the birds hop-skipped right under the bright blue sky after all, and they never saw Foxy Loxy again. The end. There's the acorn. There they are. I have some acorns to show you that I found this morning on my walk. And I'm suggesting that maybe you look ever so carefully. Can you see my acorns? You might have an acorn even fall on your head and it might go clack, clunk. That doesn't hurt too much, does it? Would you think the sky was falling? These are like baby acorns that are just beginning to fall. These are baby acorns. <gasps> but look what I also found this morning. This is still in its green husk. It's a black walnut. Now this would get my attention if it fell on my head because it's, whoa, it is hard. It is hard. Well, you should come to the library and get lots of books about nuts and trees and what's changing, what's just beginning to change. And I'm going to make a prediction that we're going to go a little nuts around here as we are going a little nuts around here. And maybe we're going to start seeing some people collecting nuts and finding out what we can do with harvesting and foraging nuts and maybe planting some trees. Sure, so come to the library and get some information about that. In the meantime, how about a little ducks, a little hen, a little hen song? Cluck. Cluck, white hen, have you any eggs? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As many as your legs. One for breakfast and one for lunch. Come back tomorrow. I'll have another bunch. Cluck, cluck, white hen. Have you any eggs? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As many as your legs. Let's do that one one more time. Cluck, cluck, red, white hen, have you any eggs? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, as many as your legs. One for your breakfast and one for your lunch. Come back tomorrow, I'll have another bunch. Cluck, cluck, white hen, have you any eggs? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, as many as your legs. Hey, maybe you'll get up on your legs and sing and dance a song with me. Can you imagine what this dance could be? How about the chicken dance? Will you do it with me? Well, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Let's see if we can hear it. Hey, everybody, it's time to dance. <laughs> when you need your partner, right? To do -si do It's, we can, you can do that. You can find a really long song of those to do. I actually have, a, a, and I'll put this in the comments. We have a wonderful chicken um, chicken song dance that Lori Bruckner does, and I'll put it. I'll post the um, YouTube in the comments. But we have some wonderful uh, Lori Bruckner um, uh, CDs here as well, and I'm, it'll will give you some time to find some kind of shaker. Maybe you have an egg at home. Maybe you have something else that you can make a shaker. But th that'll be another dance that you can do at home. So let's see. Chicken big. Not chicken little. Chicken big. This is another play on the, the um, folktale chicken little. This story, chicken big, was written and illustrated by Keith Graves. Look at that great big egg. Look at that great big egg. Now this story was written and illustrated by Keith Graves and um, published by Chronicle Books. So thank you very much. What should we call this book? Hmm, what about chicken kind of large? Or chicken tall? No, no, no. Chicken salad. <laughs> Wait, I'm having a brainstorm. Let's call it chicken big. That's it. By Keith Graves. On a teeny tiny farm, in an itty bitty coop, on a very, a very small hen, <gasps> laid a big, humongous egg. Bonk. The egg began to shake. The egg began to quake. Out popped a big, humongous chick. Hi, chick. Hi, chick. Oh, what is this? crowed the rooster, the little rooster. What is this? It's big, clucked the small chicken. It's enormous, clucked the smaller chicken. It's an elephant, peeped the smallest chicken. 
And she was, but she was not the, the sharpest beak in the flock. He's too big to stay in our itty bitty coop, crowed the little rooster. Much, much too big, clucked the small chicken. He'll break the floor, clucked the smaller chicken. Indoor elephants are dangerous, squawked the smallest chicken. I don't feel like an elephant, thought the big chick. I wish I were a chicken. <laughs> they put up a sign, no elephants allowed. The next day, an acorn fell and conked the smallest chicken on the head. Oh, the sky is falling, she peeped. Run for your lives. So the chickens ran for their lives. Bawk, 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 ah! Don't worry, said the big, humongous chick. It's only an acorn. They're actually quite tasty. I don't think elephants eat acorns, said the little rooster. I heard they only eat popcorn, clucked the small chicken. Maybe he's not an elephant, clucked the smaller chicken. Hmm. The smallest chicken looked closely at the big, humongous chick. Ah, my mistake, she peeped. He must be a squirrel. A squirrel? Hmm, thought the big, humongous chick. A squirrel? Later on, the smallest chicken was pecking for worms when a raindrop splat, splattered on top of her head. Plop! The sky is leaking, she peeped. We'll all drown. Run for your lives. And the chickens ran for their lives again. Relax, said the big, humongous chick. It's only rain. Come. Stand under my wings, and you will stay dry. Never seen a squirrel do that, crowed the little rooster. Eh, not very squirrelish at all, clucked the small chicken. Squirrels don't keep you dry in the rain, clucked the smaller chicken. See what you're saying, peeped the smallest chicken. Uh, apparently, he's an umbrella. These are not bright chickens, thought the big chick. After a while, a chilly wind began to blow. Someone has put the world in an air conditioner, in a refrigerator or something, peeped the smallest chicken. We're going to freeze. Run for your lives. But they didn't get far. Don't panic, said the big humongous chick. It's only the north wind. Stand behind me and I'll protect you. Chicken oh, oh, much. The north wind. An umbrella would have turned inside out in this wind, crowed the little rooster. He's not inside out as far as I can tell, clucked the small chicken. I'm all warm and comfy now, clucked the smaller chicken. Only one thing makes me feel this way, peeped the smallest chicken. Plainly, this fellow is a wetter. This is getting ridiculous, thought the big, humongous chicken. A big humongous chick. At nap time, the little chickens returned to the coop and found all their eggs gone. <gasps> We've been robbed, crowed the little rooster. By an egg burglar, clucked the small chicken. Woe is me, clucked the smaller chicken. Woe is me, too, peeped the smallest chicken. The chickens all began to boo hoo 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 hoo. But the biggest, the big humongous chicken saw. A sneaky red fox carrying the eggs into his den a mile away. The three giant hop hop the three with three giant hop hop hops, the big humongous chick caught up to the fox, 
just as he was about to make himself a scrambled egg supper. Yikes, said the fox, a hippopotamus. <laughs> I don't think so, said the big humongous chick, but you are a naughty thief. The frightened fox ran away with his tail between his legs, having lost all interest in poultry. In no time, the big chick was stomping back through the coop with the three missing eggs. Our babies, cried the three chickens. Our hero, they all clucked. Yay! I knew it all along, crowed the little rooster. He's no elephant. Definitely not a squirrel, clucked the small chicken. He's surely no umbrella plucked the smaller chicken. Couldn't be a sweater, peeped the smallest chicken. Only one thing could be so smart, so kind, so warm, and so brave. Clearly, he's a cow. <laughs> no, shouted the other chick, other, the others. He's a chicken. A chicken! He's a chicken! The biggest, the big humongous chick was thrilled to find out he was a chicken after all. Oh, thank goodness, he said. Now I can move back into the coop. Actually, it's a rather small coop, crowed the little rooster. It's itty bitty, clucked the small chicken. Teensy weensy, clucked the smaller chicken. But we'll make room peeped the smallest chicken. And then he says, he still sounds like an elephant. They made room for that big chick, didn't they? They made room, sure they did, for big chick. Big, chicken big. So come to the library and pick up your copy of Chicken Little and come and pick up and give us a call and tell us what other books we can set aside for you or you can come into the library when we're open. Again, all this information on our website at wcdpl.org and then tune in again with us on Monday, August 3rd at 1 o'clock when we do draw the final raffle drawing for all of our summer reading participants and, and, and select the final prizes for everyone. So thank you very much for joining me for story time and, and come to the library and, and answer all of your all of your nutty questions. We have lots of wonderful books that we want to share with you. Hey, thumbs up. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Thumbs up. Put your thumbs behind your back and let's sing our last song. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where's Pinky? Hi, Pinky. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where's the whole family? Where's the whole family? Here we are. Here we are. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Creep your hands around to your lap. Put your hands together and clap, clap, clap. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, take care. <laughs>